In this problem, we're going to use something called the quotient rule to find the derivative. So the formula for the quotient rule is the following. So if you have a function, which I'll call f, and you divide it by g, and you take the derivative, it's the derivative of the top function, which is f, times the bottom function, minus the top function, times the derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom one squared. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared. Okay, let's apply this formula to our function here. So our top function is cosine t. So the derivative of the top is negative sine t. I'm going to put this in parentheses just for clarity. That's the derivative of the top times the bottom, so t to the 7, minus the top so cosine t times, I'll put this in parentheses again, times the derivative of the bottom, which using the power rule, you bring down the 7 and you get 7t to the 6. It's all divided by the bottom 1 squared, so t to the 7 to the 2. Let's go over that one more time. So it's the derivative of cosine, which is the top function, so that's negative sine, times the bottom, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one squared. So there's some stuff we can clean up here. Let's go ahead and do that. So f prime of t is equal to, so we can put the t to the seventh in the front, so it's negative t to the seven sine t. Likewise here we can put the seven t to the sixth in the front, so minus seven t to the sixth cosine t. It just looks better when you put the t's in front of the trig functions. That's why I put parentheses here, so like there wouldn't be any confusion between this t and the t to the seventh. Here you multiply the exponents, so 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, uh, looks like we can clean this up even more. We can factor out a t to the sixth in the numerator. So let's do that. So we have t to the sixth, parentheses, and then we're left with the negative t sine t, right? Because t times t to the 6 is t to the 7th, which is what we have there, minus 7 cosine t. That's all divided by t to the 14th power. Almost there. Last step is to cancel some t's. So f prime of t is equal to, so t to the 6 over t to the 14th, so um, you're left with t to the 8 on the bottom, right? Because 6 of them cancel. So 14 minus 6 is 8. So you're left with 8, eight copies of t. And uh, we're left with the sine and the t up here. So negative t sine t minus uh, 7 cosine t. And that is the derivative of the function. I hope this video has been helpful.